Restricted Use of Control Accounts Acumatica allows administrators to limit manual journal entries into control accounts. Control accounts are used by the system subledgers during automated transaction processing. For example, when you release an AR invoice, the control account called Accounts Receivable is automatically debited to track the amount and customer balance. If I can manually create a GL entry using an AR account, the GL balance will not match the balance in the AR subledger. In this video, we show changes to the data entry screens and maintenance screens which deliver this functionality. On the Chart of Accounts screen, we added two fields, Control Account Module and Allow Manual Entry. In this example, the Accounts Receivable account is specified as a control account for the AR module. Establishing a control account has two impacts. It prevents manual data entry into the account, and it prevents using the account as a default for fields related to different subledgers. When I create a new journal entry, I receive an error when I try and use a control account. As an administrator, I can choose to provide a warning instead by checking the Allow Manual Entry checkbox on the Chart of Accounts screen. Now, when I use the AR account, I receive a warning. There are several screens in the system which allow you to specify default account values when the system automatically creates GL transactions. Each field on these screens is linked to a specific module. So if I try and enter an AR control account to a non-AR field, I receive an error or warning, depending on the value of the allow manual entry field. Now I will demonstrate what can happen if manual entries are allowed for control accounts. To start, Turn off control for the AP account. Next, post a simple GL transaction involving the AP account. After doing this, I navigate to the account details report in the GL module and view the ending balance, as you see here. I can compare this to information that I get from a report that's generated from the AP module that shows a summary of all my balances by vendor. As you can see, the totals differ by the amount of my rogue transaction. By using the new control account feature, I can prevent this from happening. This slide summarizes control account behaviors demonstrated in this video. For more information about Acumatica, contact an Acumatica reseller or view documentation on help.acumatica.com.